In this video, you'll see how to close an account in AWS Control Tower. With this solution, you can remove an account from Control Tower Management, gain root user access to the account, and finally, close the account itself. To get started, let's sign in with AWS Single Sign-On, or SSO. In this example, we have five AWS accounts. We're going to close down Developer1. To close an account, we need to log into our management account with administrative credentials. Next, we'll navigate to Control Tower. Let's find the account we want to close down. We'll make a note of the account's name and account email. Also note, you must have access to the account email inbox to complete the closure process. Next, we need to decouple the account from Control Tower in AWS Service Catalog. Let's find the account among our provisioned products. In this case, we have only one provisioned product, but if you have many, you can search to quickly find the one you want. Additionally, you can filter your results based on user, account, or role. Let's drill down and review this account. Before proceeding with account deletion, we'll ensure that the account email address matches the email address we noted earlier. For the purposes of this demonstration, the account email matches. Now, we're going to terminate the Service Catalog product, which will remove this account from the Control Tower environment. This action will push the account back to the Root Organizational Unit, or OU, within AWS Organizations. The Developer 1 account is no longer managed in Control Tower. All the services that were deployed into this member account, such as guardrails, config aggregators, and Control Tower stack sets, have been unrolled. However, users still have access to the account and its resources. As a best practice, you can suspend the account in the OU for a given time period to confirm that it's not in use. When you're ready, the next step is to close the account completely. To do so, we'll need to sign into the Developer1 account using the root user email address. We'll reset the password to gain access to this account. Let's check our email and follow the instructions that were just sent to us to reset the password. With our new password instantiated, let's sign in. Now we can open the account settings and close down this account. Before closing the account, we'll read and acknowledge this information regarding billing and permanent account deletion after 90 days. The account is closed. You've just seen how to close an account in AWS Control Tower. You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.